So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions. And you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another market recap for the 22nd of November. Today we're going to be talking through gold, we're going to be talking through fodder, we're going to be talking through specials and we're also going to be talking about a few cards that have gone up as of recently. So starting off here with gold metas, they've actually been uh, pretty stable today. Uh, they've been slightly down from yesterday. Yesterday the common trend was there was a dip just before 6pm, boom, and then it rebounded after. Uh, we've seen a, again, kind of lower prices than uh, the rebound after. The dip, is, the dip we had yesterday at 6pm is still lower than the prices across the board. But we're still seeing gradual drops. And I think these gradual drops will occur going into Friday. Uh, we've seen this occur with uh, Varane. Again, with Mbappe, we see that the dip actually on Mbappe wasn't lower. And Mbappe's continued dropping today. Down another, what are we looking at, 4% today. Uh, we then look at Hernandez, who's down another 5% again. If we look at his dip yesterday, yes, he did get down there to 18. But um, today he has, I mean, today's in a very weird trend. He rose midday and then he's been uh, dropping since. If we're going to show you another player as well, Kimpemba. You'll see a lot of them are French. They're the most popular players on FIFA. Uh, down yet another 10% today. We look at yesterday again. He's still with that dip down to 26k, but he's got even, even lower today. A lot of these players seem to have a quite a rise this morning, but then a dip since, I guess, as people finish their week in league teams. So, that is Forda. Forda should continue dropping till Friday. Now, uh, sorry, Forda. Metas should be dropped till Friday. The cards I just showed. Now to Forda. Now, with the uh, another hero pack and an icon pack only verging to be tomorrow, uh, we've actually seen a bit of a rise on Forda across the board for all ratings. Uh, we've seen ourselves Carrasco. There you go, rise. Also, this was pushed because we've got a... A relatively decent SBC for the league. You know, French striker. Uh, there's been less desirable nations released before. So uh, there we go. We see that the 84s have been rising today. What is he up? He's up 1%. So, or 2%. We then have the likes of Schmeichel. Again, we look at him today. Starting off at low. And then he's got up here to 9.3. Has dropped since because I think he's fallen out being the cheapest. Then even head up to 85s. Again, you'll just see this general trend of them rising throughout the quarter today. Uh, now, since 6pm, I'm not going to lie, a few of them are down. I don't know if people anticipated more at 6. Uh, but it's not like there's been any pack supply, but some of them do seem to be down. Again, we look at the likes of Aguero. Been rising since this morning. We're then up to the 88. Again, rising since this morning. Um, not really a crazy rise at 6. You know, we didn't see the hero pack and then everyone... Whoa, let me go and buy loads of fodder for an SBC that costs 200k, where the average player could probably cost about 40, 50k. So, again, we look at some of the top tier fodder. We didn't really see... We saw a rise during the day. I'd imagine this is people just completing the Icon SVCs. If we don't get an Icon SVC tomorrow, you might see a drop off of everything 87 and above because I think anything over 87 uh, isn't too useful. On top of that, we know that the demand for the Hero SVC just isn't amazing. We then had to underway to Stegen. And again, he's kind of plateaued since 6, but there has been a rise of about, you know, about 5k today. So not looking too bad there. And again, even Jan Black, he's gone from 62 this morning up to 65. Looking good. And then even Lewandowski. There you go. I mean, we're literally looking today. It was at 70 and now it's at 74. And again, what this is, is there's been basically no supply of SBC fodder. There will be a supply of SBC fodder on the Wednesday because we're going to get UCL marquee matchups. But it's been rising due to getting rarer and more people are doing icon SBCs. We even had squad battles this morning. But uh, squad battles, if I'm not wrong, didn't really drop the market. Got up at 72. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe people were waiting off to a squad battles. I guess he did have a drop here of uh, theoretically 2k. But, uh, you know, it's up even 2.5k as of yesterday. So that is that done. Uh, talk about a few other X. Well, actually, no. Let's talk about special cards uh, right now. There we go. Uh, headliners, again, the same sort of trend as the golds. I'll be honest with you, though, these haven't been dropping throughout the course of today. These have kind of been plateauing out. So I was looking at headliners. I was looking at old team of the weeks. And I was looking at uh, rule breakers. And basically, again, we saw a way cheaper price. In fact, he had a bit of a weird one. He was cheap as about four, but... Even Steele, who's cheaper around about the 6pm mark um, than he... i say that didn't really fit over the, uh, the agenda there. But yeah, today we really haven't seen much of a drop. We have also haven't really seen much of a rise across the board. Um, but yeah, I mean, as of the 6pm yesterday, they rebounded up there to uh, 380. And you can see he's just kind of been sitting about 380 all day. He's actually had a bit of a rise going into the evening. 
370, then 380, so they could have just been fluctuating, but on specials at the moment, doesn't seem to be a drop. Um, again, I'll go and show you. Uh, Jota yesterday did take a dip there to 370, then rebounded to 390. And today he's really just tailed about 380, 370, so it's not like they've been dropping day after day after day. We didn't see the sort of drops we saw yesterday happen today. I don't believe prices are going to rise into Friday with specials. I do believe they'll drop going into Friday, especially towards Thursday, Friday. Because Thursday, if you guys don't know, we actually have pre-Black uh, Friday hype, which is where EA started dropping SVCs. But Kulabevsky again, he got down there at 29. He did rebound a bit, and uh, yeah, at least for the discards like him, they, uh, they haven't really been rebounding whatsoever. Again, got down there to 500. And I'll be honest with you, did rebound there to 530. But again, he's kind of just been plateauing out 500. Not a consistent drop, but yeah, so... Gold cards have been dropping today. Special cards on a whole have kind of been holding. You've got a few cards that are a little bit more than yesterday. A few cards are a little bit lower. But the general consensus is they're just holding the same price. No further drops at the moment. But again, I do think there will be further drops the closer we do get to Black Friday. Again, yesterday saw him get down as low as 88. Then he rebounded to 86. He's actually just set about 86. Then we're down there to 90. Sorry, 96. Then we're down there to 90. And he's rebounded this evening. But it'll probably be sitting about 95, 96. Until we get a bit closer. I was looking at a few of the road finals. I'll be honest with you, not much moving on the road finals whatsoever. Even the guys who have a fair few wins under the belt, like Atara Vidal, um, you know, yesterday we, we probably would have seen a little bit. No, we didn't really see any drop. Yesterday we got about 76, 77, and today he's just averaged about 77, 76. So no real rise on the road to finals, even though they only play in a day or two. Donny Mallon uh, did see a rebound from the lowest point he hit yesterday, but I'll be honest with you, there really isn't any movement. Interesting thing about Malin uh, and Saul, these cards are, are guaranteed to get upgraded, but as soon as they got the guaranteed upgrade, they went down. This is because more people have invested in them than actually want a Donny Malin. I mean, if you actually look at Donny Malin, he's very hard to link into a team unless you're really forcing a Bundesliga attack. And in reality, a Bundesliga attack is quite rare this year, and a lot of it's in the midfield of the defence. So, uh, yeah, Donny Malin, the win headed underway there with Saul. Again, a card that is quite cool because he's going to have 80 plus all stats, part pace, but. Is that even that impressive? So he's had a rebound since yesterday, but we see that happen with everyone. But it's not like he's had a continuous rise throughout the day. He's just kind of sat about 25, 26 all day. I don't expect to see him rising during the week and probably couldn't drop with every other special card. Is that us done? I oh, know we've got a few more trends to talk about. A few of these EFL golds are up a little bit from yesterday. Again, if you get any of them at 500 coins, not bad. Literally, you can just sit on uh, EFL, golden on rare, 500 coins. And they should rise going into Friday. Um, we stick away from the specials. Obviously, the specials are very inflated. We saw the um, Errol de Vizzi. Nothing happened. Talk about uh, no, uh, Liga Nos, sorry. Uh, nothing really happened with too many of them. Talk about the Liga Nos. Investing 10% of your coins into Inform Diaz isn't a bad gamble. And investing 10% of your coins into Road Final Grab and Batch are two gambles you guys can make at the moment. Uh, some interesting t trends to talk about. Silver Premier League players. Silver Premier League players have risen. Despite there even being uh, score battle supply, reason for this is everyone at the moment is stacking upgrades for Black Friday, and the most demanded upgrades to stack are the Premier League packs. If we do get 81 plus packs, do we expect to see Premier League silvers to go down because people want to build 81 plus packs instead of Premier League League SBCs? Another interesting trend: Kudos has risen because the Eredivisie of players seem to be very well demanded. We saw Kudos yesterday; he got up to about 18.5. He had this very weird trend, but even ignoring that weird trend, he's still gone from 18 to about 20 to 21k this evening. So, interesting trend. Probably going to see him rise throughout the course of this week, um, unless people for some reason are taking these Eredivisie players out of their team. And I believe that is us done. That is us covered everything. Hopefully, this has helped you guys with a bit of market recap. So, once again, gold metas are dropping every day. Gold specials are holding, but I think they'll drop going into Friday. Road to the knockout stages, no movement. Um, and SBC fodder has been rising and I think it will rise going into Friday, but thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new market recap